Ooh. Here we go. AR-9 Valkyrie, aka the Assault Rifle. It handles pretty much how you'd expect a Assault Rifle to handle. One thing that got me though is that it's, uh... Well, it's a Russian weapon. It's pretty clearly like a very, uh... Very tooled, very, you know, decorated sort of AK-47 derivative. Made in 1955 and it has a, uh... One of the little red dot scopes. Is that a red dot scope on that? I can't tell. I, all of them kind of look alike to me. Anyway, it's a very, it's obviously a very dolled up AK-47, but it's got a name from like Norse mythology. And the last time I checked, Russia, uh, like around like 1955, Russia and Norway and Sweden and all those countries up in that general region were not on good terms with each other. I imagine there was like a collective, the fuck did you just call it, from them when they found out about it. It's pretty good though, it's gonna be a mainstay for most of the game after this. This is just about when the action starts ramping up a little bit. You know, survival horror starts to slip off, a bit, taper off a tiny bit. What's up? Teamwork. If you hadn't come along, I'd be dead. All right, we're supposed to meet up with SNR yesterday. Let's move up. I say, did you notice anything weird on the way? Actually, never mind. That's a dumb question. That is a really dumb question. What the hell were these things? Have you seen anything like them? Well, they were human. Did the Russians create them? But if they did, why? I could have missed it, but I'm pretty sure a massive pillar of energy shooting into the sky wasn't mentioned in the mission brief. This is Devlin 4 1. Do you copy Titan 1? Titan 1, this is Devlin 4 1 on guard frequency. Please respond. Are we good to go with extraction? Stick to the plan. Get to the radio tower. Maybe we can salvage equipment there if we need it. How could Intel have been so wrong? I mean, this place is anything but abandoned. Something's not right. We should at least be able to hear the Titan One broadcasting. Search and rescue teams better be on their friggin' way right now. Well, while they were waiting for search and rescue, we can watch. More movies. Dangers on the island, and if you want to do your part to help Uncle 
into something he shouldn't have. That would be a real shame if Ivan got too close to the processing plant. So don't let this happen to you. Remember that safety here on Katorga 12 is everyone's responsibility. And of course, the most important thing to remember, something we should never forget. It didn't end going. It didn't end with you know. It's possibly because of great comrade Stalin. Something has changed. Let's go. Hmm. The and uniform's a little different from what I've seen, but this is definitely a Russian soldier. No question. Grab that shotgun. Let's go. It's also fairly recent. And, uh, in case you haven't uh, noticed here, you can only carry two weapons. Yeah, it's one of those games. Still works, though, don't worry about it. And there's not, like, a whole lot of weapons in this game. And you'll generally get them when you need them. Anyway, here's the Volk. It's a, uh... It says, an, it says it's an auto-loading shotgun, but, yeah. It, it still functions like a pump action. It's magazine-fed, so... Yeah, I guess you don't need to worry about feeding shells into it. Or you do, but just with the magazine. I don't I, I, I don't know. It's it's a shotgun and a first person shooter made after like made after 1997. It's it, you know how all these things work. It's probably I mean it's going to be it's great up close kit and fart at range. Come on. I know. I can't afford to range, but you know, I, Wait, give me a hand with this cabinet. I thought the range was going to be a little bit more than two feet. It is semi-auto. Though. That's nice. Open the door, then cover me. On me! All clear! Rico, flank right! I'll go left! Oh, there we go. Hey, I'm doing the lion's share of these guys here, okay? Time to show off healing animation. Shit, it's locked. I'll hold this area while you find a way to open the door. He just wraps a bandage around his wrist and he's okay. Can't fool me, crosshair was red. Reloaded. Oh wow. I'll maintain position here while you open the door. Reloading.
There's the radio tower. Let's contact Titan One and get out of this circle jerk. This isn't a circle jerk, it's a clusterfuck. There's an important difference. On me. Why is help Oscar Mike? Yeah, it's 86. Go check out that guard post. Maybe there's another switch. Ah, oh, what are we here? Oh, well. People are saying that many of the guard boats left empty. They have abandoned us. Katorga 12 is doomed, and it appears they wish to bury their mistake. That's a neat little side chip. And they were trying to do that. How can you look at that and say, yes, this is wonderful. This is exactly the sort of thing that we want to cause. Fucking Soviets, man. All right, we're Oscar Mike. Head back to my position. Oh, so we are Oscar Mike. Thanks for clearing that up. Alright, in here we have Kasimov SNV E99, which is the sniper rifle. It's got like a little secondary function he's mentioned there. When it scopes up, you can slow down time for more precise shots. It's I mean, it's pretty much the weapon that that you're going to use when it comes up. See, check it out. Temple dilation, slow mo, boom. There goes your head. Hey, 
and you can tell when uh, it's up when because it's well, it starts glowing a little bit cold, and you see the little meter in the corner going up a little bit. Nice shoot. Let's move. But yeah, like I said, it's the sort of thing that you can, that you don't need to take or take with you all the time. And it's not one of ours. Get down. Because it just appear it's gonna be nearby when you need it. Wait a minute, there's a hind D. Uh, a hind D? Hey, this is a lot of ammo. You think there was going to be a fight that break? Finally. Ah, shit. Jesus, it's like an antique show in here. Ooh, weapon upgrades. See, usually we have weapon tech is kind of bluish, and you upgrade it at the weapon locker. And this is the tutorial. Basically, if you've picked it up at least once, it's going to be in the weapon locker. Just in case you've. Uh, Played this game before. Titan One, this is Devlin Four One Actual. Do you copy? See, look at it. Titan One, this look at it's like a little tiny sliver less of the damage there, but way more accuracy and range. Again with the Russians. Say again, this is Devlin. Anyway, we're gonna upgrade the. Uh, they must be jamming our comms. It's all Russian all the time. Damage from this, just... Does anything work on this goddamn island? Preparation. Of course not. This place has been abandoned for nearly 50 years. At least, it was supposed to be. Who the hell is this? We have company. These guys don't look friendly. I'm having a really bad day here. We grew up a guy in the so yeah, you can upgrade weapons in three categories. Ammo capacity, reload speed, and damage. And these guys are Spetsnaz. You ever fight a human enemy with an assault rifle in the video game? You know what to expect. Where'd you a lot come from? You know, this position might be a touch indefensible.
Oh yeah, now you notice. Ooh. 